Staying the road home, many Rhode Islanders were affected by the recent floods, and now it's time to start assessing the damage done to their furniture. Joining us to help us along is Ron and Pete from Cardi's Furniture. Thanks for joining us, guys. Ron, what have you been hearing from, from local people that were affected by the flood in terms of furniture damage and whatnot? Unfortunately, there's a constant flood of questions, and everybody's situation is a little bit different, Ben. So depending upon whether the furniture just got wet because it got sprayed or something like that, that's one thing. You get it outside, you get it dried, then it, it, you're pretty good. If something was submerged in water, now it becomes a different problem, and it depends how long it's been submerged in the water. So depending upon whether it's a mattress or it's upholstery, once that's been submerged in water, it's going to be a tall order to try to get it repaired. In the case of wood, now it's going to depend on what it is, how it's built, and, and uh, what exactly they're looking to accomplish. Pete, it's, it's simply not as easy as just airing out cushions. I mean, there's a lot more that goes into it a lot of these pieces of furniture. Why don't you tell us a little bit about detecting it? Sure. As we look at the cutaway, and we have this piece on the floor to show how furniture is constructed in upholstery, there's so many components to it. You've got the outer layer, the fabric that you sit on, but then when you cut down to it, you've got foam, you've got springs, you've got wood, you've got fasteners that hold everything together. When you have to get through all those layers of construction materials to get to the bare bones or the structure of the furniture, all those things can be affected by the water. There's a case where mold can happen on each and every layer and where in the case of steel the steel could rust and now you have that to contend with so when you add all that up and all those things that have to happen and be cleaned to get your upholstery back to where it was to start with the labor involved that's what's very very daunting in, in taking care of it so from an upholstery perspective once it's been submerged it's almost always going to be a total loss now there's some people out there that have family heirlooms that they've had in their family for generations that's something that is worth doing everything possible to save right correct and and the biggest thing is if you have a piece like that, hopefully the finish hasn't been uh, compromised. So if you look at the f layering effect of finishes, layer upon layer, when they, and you have lacquers on it, as long as those haven't been scratched and damaged, where water could seep through, and in essence, and you've seen wood swelling, you should be okay. So look at your furniture, look at the finish, and see if anything has happened to that. The other thing is if your furniture has been submerged, now you have to take all the drawers out, open everything up, and see where is the damage. Uh, uh, occurring. If it hasn't been started to swell, you could be in good shape. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks so much, as always. For more information on how to detect damaged furniture and anything over at Cardi's, head over to the website foxprovidence.com.